I hope you guys are not really good to the gameplay. Uh, obviously, by the, you know, the title and all that stuff that I'm going to put in. Uh, this is a different kind of match than what you're used to seeing. Uh, this is actually a search and destroy gameplay. I start off doing really well, actually. Uh, I went 3-0 here in the first round, and then I got all three of the guys in the second round as well. Uh, ended up finishing this game 15-5. and five. Uh, It's a really close game. Uh, I won't spoil it. Just let you guys play it out and let you guys watch it. But uh, here in the first, uh, Brown here to get this clutch going real quick. Uh, get these three guys uh, after I had, you know, both my teammates died. But to be quite honest with you, you know, I, I just met uh, the two guys that I'm playing with. We were doing game battles, by the way, 3v3. And uh, I just met these guys, and, and uh, you know, they weren't really that great. We ended up, you know, no matter what happened in this match, we ended up losing uh, the, the series that was the best of. Uh, the best of three, and uh, we ended up losing uh, the, the series, and <clears throat> I don't know what it is. I got real bad luck with game battles uh, for some reason. Uh, I'm like, in the eight matches I've played, I don't think I've won a single match. I think I'm literally, I think I'm literally 0-8 right now. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I just got started playing the, the whole competitive thing. Uh, the, like, you know, like I've been talking about the public uh, side of it. It's been really annoying, uh, and I've still got a few you know, videos left. Uh, the KEM. I'm gonna try to get more game battles gameplay, uh, which brings me right, you know, where I was gonna talk about. Uh, at this game here, these guys we were playing against, uh, they actually sent me a message and and uh, asked if I'd like to play with them sometime, uh, and I said yes. Yeah. So I joined their game battles team. Uh, we're gonna try to do some three v threes with them here soon. Uh, try to get some gameplays with them. These are really cool guys. Uh, they're really good players too. Uh, I was just today. It was one of those days on this day where I was just. My shot was, you know, really good. Uh, usually, I mean, I, it's a hit and miss sometimes. Um, you know, almost every day, you know, I, I can do very well by myself uh, in a game. You know, almost every game. But, you know, you got good teammates, everything goes good. And, and in this game, I really didn't have that great team, you know, great of teammates. You know, I, these guys weren't that great. So, that's the reason why we ended up, you know, losing the series. And and uh, that's the reason this game went on as, as long as it did, you know. I mean, it was... I'll just go ahead and say it was 5-5. Five, five. Uh, you know, we went into overtime. It was 5-5. Five, five. You were in our 11th round and in the 11th and final round, and you guys will see what happened. But, you know, it was it was one of those games where, you know, I was, I was on my shot, and I was, you know, and, and to be quite honest, these, you know, this BenQ and monitor and this and these Astros really help out a lot. Uh, you I mean, you think just a, a little uh, change of your setup, you know, wouldn't really matter that much. And really, I mean, that's... That's wrong, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. I mean, I, the little headset I had, uh, I mean, if, if nobody knows how I got it, I got it from a good friend of mine. He's actually a clan member, a guy I know by the name of Brother. You may know him by all the Rage Tajas he's been in. He's been in all of my Rage Tajas. Uh, he sent it, you know, all the way from Texas up here to Arkansas to me. So, you know, it was a great headset. Uh, it's a little bitty Triton. Uh, I forget what they're called, triggers or something like that. You can actually unplug it from uh, the little... Uh, volume puck that it, that it comes with and you can actually put, plug it into your iPod and stuff like that you know that's what I've been using it for you know playing you know music through my iPod and stuff like that uh, that's really what I've been using it for now you know I don't plan on getting rid of it or anything because it you know he gave it to me uh, but that was a good little headset to use uh, and I if I if something ever happened to these Astros I could probably plug the Triton you know I could plug the Triton into the mix amp uh, and still uh, you know use the mix amp and stuff like that um you know but Man, I mean, the, the, those two pieces, you know, added to my setup, it really helped me out a lot. Uh, the only thing I really need now is a really good controller, uh, a better PC. Uh, but I don't know, I wanted to kind of ask this question and see if anybody can answer it for me. Is there any way I could get, like, something to transfer programs, like I could put a program onto this thing and it'll go to my, you know, the, the, another PC that I get? Because I, I wanted to take Photoshop and, and see if I can get it on a different computer. Uh, but I didn't know if I could do it or not. I don't know. I mean, I know there's things out there where you can transfer stuff. Uh, but I wanted to know if, if you could just straight up transfer the programs over. Because I've never done it before. Uh, I heard you can do it with a flash drive. You know, I haven't even you know seen that yet. I haven't seen anybody do that yet. So, I'm just throwing that out there. Is there any way I could take a program and put it onto something and transfer it over to another computer? Just in case if I wanted to get another computer or something. I mean, I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. Throwing that question out there. If anybody can answer it for me, I'd appreciate that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it, it was just, it's just one of those games, uh, this one was, and these guys were, you know, like I said, they were pretty good, I mean, they weren't awful, 
you know, like I said, I'm going to start playing GBs with these guys because, you know, I mean, like I said, these guys I was playing with wasn't that great, but I hope I can get some some GBs going with these guys pretty soon. You know, I, I wanted to make a like a four-man team, you know, like kind of get a team out there where, you know, where we competed in tournaments and stuff like that. Uh, fortunately, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. We might just do it with these guys right here. Uh, as, as we all know, I'm a good friend, Cody, who I was going to start a team with. Uh, we might just see if these guys want to do it. Uh, with us, try to get two of these guys uh, to, to do four-man teams with us. Because I mean, I don't want to just join the competitive scene and just do game battles. You know what I mean? I want to, I want to try and, and go to you know land tournaments and stuff like that. I mean, I think that'd be really cool. Uh, I've never really been to one. Uh, they don't really host any around here. Uh, I mean, this is Arkansas. This isn't really anything special. You know what I mean? So. Unless somebody comes out of the blue and and puts up a you know a good amount of money to to make a tournament, a land tournament around here, I mean that's not going to happen. I, I think they do some uh, in a few states over like Mississippi or Tennessee or something. They may do tournaments there, but they definitely don't do them around here. And I wish they did uh, because they'd be pretty cool. But what what am I going to do about it? You know I can't shit a land tournament out and uh, and make it happen. So that's not an option. Uh, the only option that I can think of. You know, like I said, is is trying to get a team together, and, and maybe do tournaments online. You know, and and, and record that and put that up. Uh, but I mean, have a, I wanted to put another question out there before this commentary ends. We still got three minutes. We still got enough time to talk about some other things. I mean, uh, my PBR has been retarded still, which is the reason why I uninstalled all that shit and then reinstalled it. But I wanted to ask this question: If anybody has the PBR two or whatnot. What does it even mean if the blue little light comes up and it starts blinking and then it disconnects from my computer? I'm pretty sure it means that it's not, you know, finding my computer, or my computer's not finding it, which is total re bullshit because I mean, I could I could sit there and and click out a pod capture and then bring it back up and it's just fine. You know, or I can unplug it and plug it back in and it's just fine. I don't know. Um what's wrong with it? But if it doesn't fix itself, you know, when I get the money, I'm going to get an Elgato because uh, I haven't really heard any bad things about Elgato. Uh, and I, th I know the software is great with Elgato, so I don't know. We'll just have to see. Uh, I'm still looking to, to try and get a job. I think I'm going to wait uh, till the end of this year, actually, uh, because uh, my birthday is in September. Uh, and if I if I wait till this September to get my, my driver's license, which I'm going to do, uh, I don't have to have like all this bullshit they keep asking me I need to get. So, I'm gonna probably, uh, you know, just wait, go up, go up there, and and, and you know, <laughs> this is the last round, just so you know, guys, five five. But that's sort of my plan right now. Uh, wait till the end of the year, which is September. My birthday is September eighth, so I'll probably go up there. That way, I only have to, you only have to have like your birth certificate or something, get my driver's license, and then try and get a job, and, and hopefully, you know, get the Xbox One around that time. I don't know. Uh, Seen the price drop, but that doesn't really mean anything to me. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, as always, guys, I'll be looking for some more game battles gameplay, hopefully. And uh, peace out, guys.